Okay, buddy. Which one do you like? Don't say that one. We don't like that one. We don't like that one. You slept through all the fun Mommy and I had picking out paint colors. And I thank you for that because, you know, it's adults only, you know what I'm saying? But while we're on that subject, I need to ask you a favor, okay? See, Mom was a little upset when she saw Chelsea holding you. I know. It was my fault. I'm sorry. Sometimes I'm an idiot, okay? But I'm planning a surprise for her to show her how much we love her. You winning on that? Huh? I'm going to take that as a yes. I'm going to take that as a yes. No, 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 no. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Hey. Hey. Did Mom want to see you too? Yeah. Did she tell you what's going on? I have no idea what's going on. You know, I think maybe... I think maybe Mom told Dad she was sick. What do you mean she's sick? We should get in there. Wait a second. What? Hey, we're here. Mom's sick? You didn't tell me about it? I don't know much, okay? She didn't want me to say anything until she was ready. I don't know that anybody is ever ready to face something like this. You're not doing your part here. You, my little stinker, were supposed to go to bed early so Daddy can set up the surprise for Mommy. So tell me, why aren't you in your crib sleeping? Hmm? Why? Gotta learn to keep your promises, man. Look, I wasn't always a man of my word either. Yeah, I know. We also know how that turned out. Ended up letting down a lot of people that I love. Yeah. And that's a feeling that I pray you never have to endure. That's why the surprise is so important. Yes, that's why it's important. I want mom to know how much I love her. And that I'll be here always. Just like I'm going to be here for you. Yeah. I've been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. MS? Are you sure? Did you get a second opinion? Yes, 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 Victoria. I've had all the tests. I don't know a lot about MS. Well, neither do we, but we're learning something new every day. What caused it? They don't know. For some reason, it affects women more than men. You're trying to wrap our minds around the diagnosis? How are you feeling? I get numbness, uh, tremors sometimes just in my hands right now. Look, I wanted you to know about it, but I don't want it to affect you. How can it not, Mom? Sweetheart, we don't know how it's going to affect your mother in the end, okay? We just know that thousands of people all over the world with the proper kind of treatment and the proper medication can live perfectly normal lives. And you? I guess we'll just wait and see. Well, you got me and Vic and Dad. And you've got your grandchildren who adore you. I guess what we're trying to say, Mom, is that you're not alone. I don't want a pity party. Well, I don't remember planning one. Mom. And I don't want you asking me, Mom, are you okay, really? Every time you see me. Well, if she does, it's okay. Well, no. We can do that. Anything else? I don't want you to treat me like an invalid, okay? I want to be treated normally. Because I'm not an invalid, and I'm not going to allow this disease to make me one. Good. OK, so can we hug you, or will you think that we're coddling you? Honey hugs her up with smoke. Are they sure it's a mess? I'm 
sorry. I, I wish there was something I could do. I, um, if, if this is too much, it's, it's out. I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll clean it up. It's, um, not a problem. I understand. Oh, uh, I, 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 yeah. you know, I, it's just, it's been such an awful day and, you know, to come home to this is just, know, honey, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll it's give really room. wonderful. It is. You know, uh, I did it because I want you to know that I'm here for you no matter what. I do know that. Yeah? Yeah. You want some proof? <sighs> Billy. Victoria. Will you do the honor of marrying me? Again? Right here? Right now? Haven't we been here before? Oh, yes, we have, actually. Once on the beach, on our front lawn. We even made it to a church once. But every time I marry you, I love you more. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. In sickness. And in health. For as long as we both shall live. <laughs> you have no idea how much those words mean to me right now. Honey, I wake up every morning and I thank God that despite the great many times I've screwed up, you always forgive me, you always take me back. You're done screwing up, right? Yes, ma'am. Because life without you is unimaginable. Well, you know, a lot has changed since our first time around. I know. I'm a little older. I'm a little wiser. You're more gorgeous than ever. It's true. We've got our beautiful baby boy. You know, if I had to go through every misstep and every heartache to get to where we are right now, it would definitely be worth it. You mean that? Do you know what today's about? It's about things that really matter. Things that no amount of money can buy and no amount of power can influence. And I'm just really grateful that no matter what I go through out there, I can come home here to you. I love you. A little rice to top things off. <clears throat> Wedding rings? Oh, yeah. Actual rings this time. I thought it might be nice to have something to pass along to the kids. Kind of hard to do that with a tattoo. This ring, there's no beginning, there's no end. Just like my love for you. You know, nobody makes me cry as much as you do. But then again, nobody makes me laugh as much as you do either. <laughs> Nothing's going to take me away from you. That's my solemn vow. I'm going to hold you to that, okay? Well, then start holding me to it. Kiss your wife. <laughs>